Hey y'all, welcome back to my 13 days of Halloween. For today's look, I'm doing Snow White, but as you can see in the intro, the poisonous apple is rotting her face off. So this is another look by Shauna Scott. She is just super talented. And whenever I saw her Twisted Disney Princess series, I knew I had to try and recreate some of her looks. And I thought y'all would really like them too, because who doesn't love Disney princesses? And it's Halloween, so make them creepy. So this one is very easy if y'all want to recreate it as well, even the rotten mouth part. So the face part is just your normal everyday routine so I did add my foundation and I'm doing concealer and setting powder and then I'm just gonna do a kind of light smoky eye like I did for Elsa. So I wasn't really sure where the wax and blood and all that was gonna go because I never really practice my looks. I kind of just wing it. So I am just doing my bronzer blush and highlight on both sides just to be safe. And I did want to use a kind of pinky blush and I'm concentrating it on the apples of my cheeks to kind of make my face look more cartoony. And I guess I should have used a lighter foundation since Snow White's skin is white as snow, but I just did my normal foundation. So if you do recreate this look, you can do whichever works for you. I'm sorry if you see me chewing. For some reason, I like to film right at supper time, so I need to snack until I get done filming and I can cook something, so just ignore that. But now I'm just doing my brows and I'm using the Benefit Brow Pomade in my normal color. I lied. I'm not doing a smoky eye for this look. I just wanted to do a simple look because of the rotten mouth. I wanted that to be the focal point and I completely forgot. So I am going to use the Tartlet and Bloom palette, which is my favorite eyeshadow palette. And I'm starting off with the new color. This is going to just help even out my eyelid. And it also helps your other shadows to blend better. And then I'm just going to use a transition shade right above my crease and then another shade in my crease. You can use any colors that you want. I'm just using the browns. And then I'm going to keep my lid just that light color, but I am going to add more just to make it brighter and then I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner and line my lower waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit more open and awake like Snow White's. Next, I'm applying the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara, and then I'm going to put on some false lashes. For the Disney Princess looks, I love using lashes that are longer on the ends to kind of give that cat eye appearance. And it wouldn't be Snow White without her red lips, so I'm using a red liquid lipstick, but you can use whatever you have. But if you want this to be your costume, I do recommend a liquid lipstick because it will last all night and you don't have to worry about touch-ups or anything like that. But that is going to be it for the normal Snow White makeup, but keep on watching for the creepy version. I went ahead and added my wig and costume obviously, but I knew I'd be working with fake blood and knowing me, I would have gotten it all over everything. Also, please ignore my wig. I already had this black one and I didn't really know how to style it. So I just put it in a ponytail. Plus, I'm pretty sure this is like a $20 wig from Spirit Halloween. So I probably couldn't have styled it. So just ignore that. But anyways, y'all, this stuff that I'm using is amazing. I got it last year. I never used it. I wish I would have because it would have made things so much easier and it has made things so much easier this year. That's why I said y'all could easily do this look and I got it off of Amazon. I don't know if this specific brand is Prime available, but there's one similar that I also used, but I will link everything down below in the description bar, but this brand is third degree and I liked it better than the other. And I don't know the technical terms, but it is like a silicone mixture. It comes in two different jars and you scoop them out separate with separate, about said utensils, but separate like spatulas and then you mix them together once you're ready to start working with it and look how easy 
it is to apply. So I'm adding in some holes and stuff like that just to make it look like my face is rotting and it dries. It's easy to paint and it just peels right off. So seriously, amazing stuff. I'm not really sure if this comes in other colors. The one I got was clear, but my makeup teacher is actually the one that suggested this product to me last Halloween and she said to get it. So I got it and I had no clue how to use it or what it was. I just got it, but since it is clear, I did add my foundation on top just to make it blend in a little bit better, and now I'm going to work on the shading. I'm starting off with a mixture of like a maroon, red, and gray and going around the edges just to make my skin look irritated, and then I kind of just play around with kind of blood tones and just get the coloring how I like it. And to finish off the look, I'm adding some fake blood. That's one thing I love about fake blood is if you mess up or you don't like your shading or coloring, just throw some fake blood on it and you're good to go. But that will complete this look. I really hope that y'all enjoyed my creepy Snow White. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my other looks. But thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow for a another Halloween look.